Okay, how's it going guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn. So, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, so I did a little bit of research and none of these current quests that we have available to us is going to be a Rayquaza quest. So, uh, yeah, I guess we don't have to worry about that right now. Anyways, let's uh, heal. And we'll do this one. We got a new report from the good folks out at Train Town. Apparently, one of those folks was out on a hike at Tech Knight Ridge and saw one of those New World doors. It was pretty high up, so you might need to take a solid stroll through the mountains to reach it. But it'd be best for someone to get up there and give it a check before something bad happens. I wonder what it'll be this time. Giratina? Rayquaza? Necrozma? What do you think, Mark? Think I could rock a Necrozma? It's not exactly my style, but who cares? Maybe I'll try going back to field work long enough to find one. Okay, I said Tech Knight Ridge. I don't think I've been to Tech Knight Ridge. Let's take a look at the map real quick. That, I think it's in the desert, right? It said Train Town. I'm assuming he's talking about the scrapyard. Uh, yeah, Tech Knight Range. Uh, Tech Knight Cave. So I'm assuming the ridge is up here somewhere. So just got to go to like the top left of the desert. There's a TM over there. <laughs> He's a level one Aaron, dude. Oh wow. Oh wow. Well, that was annoying to deal with. Good thing I had hail. Holy dude. <laughs> he had a shell. <laughs> you got the TM for bulk up. Cool. That was. Okay. Didn't expect that. Oh man. I gotta heal. Okay. We're back. Let's continue our search. It's like up here. There has to be like an entrance somewhere like the top left of this desert somewhere. Oh, is this it? Tech Knight Cave. I'm assuming this will lead to Tech Knight Ridge. The stones shimmer, or seem to shimmer with light. I gotta use a move in here? Oh god. Okay. Um... I don't know what move we have to use. Unless that's not the entrance. Let's look around a little more. If I can't find anything else, I'm going to assume that's where we need to go and we have to use a move to change the environment. And I can't go this way. Okay, uh, I got to find out what move we need to use to, uh, to change the environment here. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. So I figured out that we have to use Power Gem, which is very convenient because my Ampharos can learn Power Gem. So that's nice. And there 
we go. Crystals scattered everywhere. The crystals glitter with fissures. Okay. Cool. Throw back on the repel and we're good to go. Gotta use it again. Okay. I just used a repel, so that's unfortunate. I didn't think I was gonna have to keep using it. Okay, well. Let's waste this max repel then. Oh, it's a shiny Aeron. That thing looks interesting. I'm gonna catch it. Cool. change it back now to what it was previously oh gosh will it go back on its own if I leave and come back I don't think it will right I like leave the area and come back it's not gonna revert back to what it orig originally was is it oh no it does Cool, okay. Nice. Well, that's convenient. Because if not, we were gonna have to go like, find out what would change it back to what it was originally, probably be like Earthquake or something. And that would have been a hassle. So it's good to know that we just leave the cave and come back, it'll go back to what it originally was. Maybe I should stop using repels, because it seems like we're just going to have to keep using Power Gem every two seconds. Oh, we made it. Tech Knight Ridge. Awesome.
There it is. Is that L? Cauldron of the future. Oh no, it's Adrian. <laughs> Couldn't tell from the back of their head. Well, but isn't my favorite champion? Always a pleasure. The view here is uniquely beautiful. I was just enjoying a rare moment of serenity. I'd come here, or I'd come to do my part helping to contain the anomalies. With everything required of me by managing the city, I haven't found the time I would have liked to be able to join you all. This opportunity was welcome. But when I got here, well, it's just as you see. A shimmering pool of near, nearly still starlight. A few shadows string below the surface, and not much else. Hardly anything that needs containing. Maybe something would appear here in the future. But for now, just this. A time to breathe. I've had precious few of them lately. I feel as if every time I blink, the world has left me behind all over again. So much is always happening, and I want to be there for it. But I also crave these moments of stillness. Like some part of me is still frozen in time. Some part of me still wants to be. At first I hated the idea that I had lost so many years. And I still do, of course. And yet... No care back. And yet... Perhaps I would do it again. To have a chance to step into the future. To make sure that the world is still on the right track. It's been an unforgettable, sublime experience. If a stressful one. I have all of these desires. So much I want to do. So many people I want to help. If I could, I would sit down with every single person and listen to all of their troubles. I would like to move the world for every person I meet, but I can't. I don't have the privilege of eternity. I'm sure everyone else would like to do the same, and I'm not so special. I have to humble myself, accept my limitations, rein in my ambitions, and breathe. I don't know how anyone does it. Even now, I have another two meetings waiting for me. I should be going. Thank you for listening to me, for your efforts, and for everything else. I hope I see you again the next time I blink. Hmm. So wait, is there really nothing here? At least not right now. Okay, so after doing some research, I figured out that there is actually a legendary that you can catch here. Technically two legendaries, but uh, yeah. So all you have to do is use the super rod. We got a bite. And there we go. So we can catch Cosmog, which is the pre-evolution of Lunala and Solgaleo. I think I said those right. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, catch two of them. And then I need to find out how to evolve them. I don't... Is it just through level up? We can try leveling it up and see if that's the case. 
Uh, no, I do want to add it to the team. Box you for now. All right, let's go ahead and catch another one. So now I have a bunch of EXP candies that we can use. Here we go. All right. Uh, okay, so it evolves into... Cosmoum. And then one more level. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we have Lunala. Wait. How does it how is it decided what it evolves into? Is it a night and day thing? Because it's currently nighttime. So that would make sense why it evolves into Lunala. So if we want Solgaleo, do we have to make it daytime? Yeah, it's only evolving into to Lunala. Okay, I'm gonna I'll change the clock on my PC to make it daytime, and then we'll uh we'll get a Solgaleo. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it should now be daytime. So let's go ahead and see if we can get Sol Solgaleo. There we go. Awesome. I hope I didn't mean to use that. All right, cool. So yeah, we got two more legendaries added to the uh, to the collection, I guess. Uh, Lunala, Psychic Ghost, and Soul Galeo, Psychic Steel. That's a really cool typing. Full Metal Body, Shadow Shield. All right, cool. Well, uh, I guess that's that's it, right? That's all we can do here is just catch Cosmog and evolve it into these two legendaries. All right, cool. Well, with that, I think we're done here. Any last words, Adrian? Let's visit that place again sometime. With the stars and all the pools, it was quite incredible. That feeling of timelessness I have it only in my memories. I miss it so much. And if there are anyone to indulge it with... Uh... Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and box these, uh... Legendaries. Awesome, okay. Well, with that being done, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here for now. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on next time. So, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.